All right, guys, welcome to your fourth hand sewing tutorial. Today, we are going to learn about how to do the running stitch. Most of you have probably already done this stitch before. It's just a basic sewing stitch. Um, so I have already tied the knot at the end and I even secured it on the back side here. Oops, let me focus. So I just went back through the fabric and then I went down through the fabric and then back up through the fabric and down through the fabric. Okay, so the trick with this stitch is just to make sure that you are about the same distance apart as you sew and that you're trying to keep your line fairly straight. Okay, you wanna make sure that you are keeping the stitches small. Otherwise it won't hold whatever you are trying to sew together very well. Okay, if it's easier, you can just continuously flip your sewing sample over to make sure that you're staying in a straight line. Okay, so for this sample, I do want you to go the entire length of your piece of fabric. Trying to keep a small, consistent stitch the entire length of the fabric. This stitch is used for a lot of things, so just basic um, mending of a seam. I have used this stitch before. Okay, you can also use this stitch um, when you are doing clothing construction for things that need to be gathered. Be careful doing this with yours though. Otherwise you might have to start over. So if you have something that has a little bit of a flare out to it, a lot of times it would be gathered and then it would be sewn together like this. But for now, we will keep ours kind of flattened out. So just keep sewing back and forth until you get to the end of the fabric. nearly there. Oops. And if it gets caught up, just back it out with your fingertips. No big deal. And then just try to pull it through a little bit more evenly. few more stitches to go. And then we will want to end on the back because we are going to tie it off. Because we're not trying to secure anything like a button that would be holding other things together, as well as needing to hold itself onto the fabric, we don't have to tie it off nearly as many times. So what we are going to do is we're just gonna tie it off three times. So we're gonna pick up a little bit of that fabric, pull it almost all the way through so that we create a loop. We will send our needle through the loop and pull. 
And then we will do that two more times. So, send your needle through the fabric, pick up a stitch, send your needle through the loop, and pull. And then one more time, send, oops, sorry. Pick up a stitch, send your needle through the loop, and pull. Once you are finished, you can cut your needle and thread off. Take a picture of both the front and the back side of your sewing sample. Submit it to Google Classroom. Hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.